Using a drone in a brightly coloured skin like the ones we have here isn't something new to the drone world. However, if recent changes in the VLOS rules, visual line of sight rules here in the UK, could the way you wrap your drone allow you to fly further legally? Let's find out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we continue to push for a thousand subs. Now, general wraps for your most common drones are pretty easy to come by, especially as the biggest drone company, DJI famously, doesn't release very bright products compared to companies like Autel. So in order to keep VLOS and possibly even have a better chance of finding your drone if something were to go wrong, you can stick on one of your basic wraps like these ones. Personally, I would recommend this and you will notice a difference compared to the light and dark greys of the original drone exterior when flying and you should feel more comfortable going a little bit further within reason of course. Now if you hadn't heard the visual line of sight laws have changed in the UK and we'll just quickly go over them as well as addressing how using what we're calling a 50-50 or half and half skin could make all the difference to how you fly within the new rules. The new definition of keeping your drone legally within visual line of sight is that you must be able to monitor the aircraft's positions, orientation and surrounding airspace at all times. So basically, you need to be able to tell what way your craft is facing without looking at your screen. So we have used these new laws to our advantage when it comes to wraps and skins. Using 50-50 wraps such as this, you can more easily tell what way your drone is facing and obtain a better visual line of sight. Now, the reason for it side to side and not front and back is that you'll be able to tell the orientation from whatever way it is facing. Don't get me wrong, it isn't going to win any awards for style, but it's practical. Besides, it's more important to be safe, legal and have better looking shots than a better looking drone. You could even go one further and attach some lights to your drone to make things even easier. Just remember, if you're using a sub 250 gram drone such as your Mini 2 or Mini 3 or Nano Plus, that lights and wraps can make it over 250 grams, meaning you can no longer claim to be flying in the sub 250 gram category. So just make sure to weigh it all on some light scales before flying. So as a bit of an experiment, I'm going to show some of these drones with your basic wraps at distances, starting with the Mini 2, showing it at 50 meters, then 100 meters, then 200 meters. Now, obviously you're starting to lose it as it gets further away. And I could just about see it. My eyesight was slightly better than the camera fully zoomed in, but it gives you an idea. And then obviously the Mavic 2 Pro with this green that wasn't all that gray. I can't see the green being huge apart from, I quite like the color green, so it looks quite good, but we thought we'd show them all off. And we'll show that at 50, 100, and then 200 meters. And then we'll show you the Air 2S, which we've done in our 50-50 wrap uh, at the same distances. And I'll also turn it around a little bit to show you how the orientation works. So I know if the red is on the left side, then it's facing the same way I'm facing, or if the red's on the right side, then it's facing towards me, etc. If I see just yellow, I know that it's facing towards my right, etc. You get the idea. It's, it actually works really well. I would say I could easily look at it and I could go, right, I know it's going that way. And it, you know, it, it just means you're keeping with the laws and if someone to say, you know, have you got visual line of sight? Can you tell which way the drone is facing? You can say, yep, yeah, I know it's going, I know it's facing that way because I can see the just, just the yellow color. So that's where this design can be very beneficial and I think could be a good foolproof way of keeping your drone safe in the future. Recently, we have used this skin wrap design on the M30T we supplied to a mountain rescue team down in Derby. They could choose which colors they wanted. And this was something they requested specifically after the new laws. And as one of the few companies that can carry out custom skins for enterprise drones, we were more than happy to help. We even create numbered wraps to go on the batteries to keep everything neat and tidy. So if you are interested in a custom drone wrap, please feel free to get in touch through our website, which is down in the description. If you're having any worries or doubts, then please note that skins do not affect warranties in any way. Let us know down in the comments if you use drone wraps, if they help, and what designs you think could make a difference. Also, please remember to subscribe, it makes a massive difference to our channel, and um, I'll catch you on the next one.